Good afternoon, Grade 7. This is the physics review worksheet for the exams of semester 1 at the International School of Innovation. Let's start with question number 1. Indicate the true statement or statements and correct the false one or ones. We have 1. Solids have indefinite shape. 2. Malleable solids are easily deformed. 3. The SI unit of mass is the Newton of symbol and capital. Weight is measured using the dynamometer. 5. The mass of an object is variable from one place to another. Let's start with the first one. Yes, Ali. Solids have indefinite shape. False. False. What the correction? Solids have different shape. Okay, solids have definite shape. This is false. You have to say solids have definite shape. shape. Let's move to two. Malleable solids are easily to form. What do you think, Muhammad? True. True. Malleable solids, we can easily deform. We can easily change their shape. Thank you. Three. The SI unit of mass is the Newton, simple, and capital. Yes, Tala? True or false? It's false. False. Can you correct it? The unit of weight, uh, of weight is the Newton. Okay. This one way to solve this. The SI unit of weight is a newton of simple and can you correct in another way joel the si unit of mass is the kilogram of the symbol kg kg thank you this is another way in order to solve this in the exam you only write one way you don't have to write the two ways okay moving to four Weight is measured using the dynamometer. Yes, Lua. True or false? True. If I say mass is measured using what? Digital balance. Digital balance. Okay, thank you. Five. Let's move to lean. The mass of an object is variable from one place to another. It's true or false? False. False. What's the correction? The weight of an object is variable from one place to another. The weight. Of an object, the weight of an object is variable from one place to another. I say, Muhammad Hassan, can we correct this in another way? Yes. yes. Uh, it's constant. It's constant, meaning that it's not variable. It's constant from one place to another. Okay, thank you. Moving to question two. Choose the best answer. You only have to circle the letter of the best answer. Let's start with first one. If the mass of an empty container is M1, the mass of an empty container is M1, and the mass of the filled container with a liquid is M2. So the mass M of liquid is equal to M1 minus M2, meaning that mass of an empty minus the mass of filled 2 equal mass of the empty plus mass of the filled 3 equal mass of the filled container minus mass of the empty container. Yes, Linda? C. C. It's equal to the mass of the filled container minus the mass of the empty one. So it's C. You have to circle C. This is the best answer. This is the correct answer. Moving to 2. Aisa. The mass of an object in Beirut is 30 kilograms. In Tripoli, this mass has same value, smaller value, or greater value. Same value. Why is it the same value? Because the mass is constant. Why? The weight is variable. Thank you. Three. Yes, Allah. The instrument used to measure mass is A. Graduated cylinder. B. Digital balance. C. Spring balance. Yes, Allah. Digital balance. If I say the instrument used to measure weight is what? Which one? It has a, another name of spring balance or other instrument used to measure the weight. It's called the other spring balance. 
Dynamo Mitsu. Okay? Four. A bus. One ton is equal to 1,000 kilogram, 10,000 gram, or 0 0.001 kilogram. Uh, From ton to kilogram, we multiply or divide? Uh, we multiply. multiply by how much? 1,000. So 1 times 1,000 equal 1,000 kilograms. So the correct one is? Uh, okay, it's which letter? A. A. This is the correct answer. Okay? Let's move to question number three. The containers below are filled with colored water. Draw a diagram for the free surface of water in each container. Ali, can you come please and solve the first one? Okay, thank you. Okay, Ali drew this. This is true or false? Tala, this is true. It has a small level of water. Ali is poor of water. Doesn't have enough water, so it has a small amount. Two, this is a graduated cylinder. Yes, Muhammad Ali, can you come and solve this? Choose the level of water that you want. Okay, you mean the straight? Yes. Okay, the straight one. Okay, a straight one like this. This is straight. Okay, moving to third one. Yes, Lee, can you come please and solve the third one? Yes. Okay, this is true. Yes. Okay, can you come and correct it, please, Linda? Can you come, please? Yes. Okay, is this true? Yeah, it's not exactly what is true. Yes, you have to write this like this. It's moving like this, so the level of water will move like this. Okay, this is the true one. Okay, you have to draw it strictly. Move to another question. Yeah. Question number four. Question number four, convert the following. First, I have to write the conversions on a draft paper. You have to write ton, kilogram, yeah. gram, yeah. and milligram. Here, from ton to kilogram times 10 to the power, three. From kilogram to gram, Times 10 to the power 3. From gram to milligram. Times 10 to the power 3. Times 10 to the power 3. In the reverse direction of Muhammad Ali. From milligram to gram. Divided by the 10 to the power 3. Okay, from gram to kilogram. Divided by 10 to the power 3. Okay, kilogram to ton. Divided, divided by, by 10 to the power 3. Okay, let's start first. 50 kilogram into gram. Yes, lower. From kilogram to gram. Should we multiply or divide? Multiply by how much? By 1,000. So 50 times 1,000, it will be 50,000 gram. Okay? Moving to two. Yes, Joel, 100 milligram should be converted into kilogram. Should we divide or multiply, Joel? Divide. Divide. Divide by how much? 10 to the power 6, so the answer is 100 divided by 10 to the power 6, it will be what? 0 0.001 0 0.001 excellent, 0 0.001 moving to 3, that's Muhammad Ali 3 tons equal how much in milligram? Ali pay attention please 3 times 10 to the power 9 3 times from ton to milligram 3 times 10 to the power? 9. 9. How many zeros should I put? 1 zero. Okay, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? Moving to 4. Yes, Muhammad Hassan. 4. 10,000 gram equal how much in kilogram? From gram to kilogram, shall I divide or multiply, Muhammad? Divide by 1,000. Divide by 1,000. It's 10,000 divided by... 1,000. Okay? It will be how much? 
it will be 10. So it's 10,000 divided by 1,000. It will be 0, 0, 0, this 0, 0, 0. It will be 10 kilogram. So Moving to the last. Can last. Can you try, Ali? 200 ton. 200 ton. 15 kilogram. 15 kilo, uh, Equal. How much in gram? What do you want to do uh, first? Time. Okay, tone. I want to convert from tone to gram. 200 tone. Equal how much in grams? What shall I do? Uh, tone to kilogram. Or 10 to gram. 10 to gram. Let's start from 10 tone to gram. Times 10 to the power 9. 10 to the power? 10 to the power 9 or 6? From tone to, to gram. Times 10 to the power 6. It will be. 200 million. million. Okay, 200 million what? Uh, gram. gram. Gram, that's the first one. 15 kilogram. Mm -hmm. Equal how much in gram, Tala? Uh, Equal 15 three. times 10 to the power 3. Equal? 15,000. 15,000 what? Uh, gram. gram. So I have 15,000 gram and 200 million. What shall I do? We I have to them. add them. 200 million plus 15,000, 0, 0, 0, 15,000. Okay, add them, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 0, 5, 1, 0, 0, 0, it's 200 million, 15,000, 200 million, 15,000 gram. That's one way. Another way, Linda, you can transform 200 ton into, you can convert it into kilogram and add them, then convert from the kilogram into gram. All of them are correct. I want to see the way you solve it in the exam. How did you solve this? How you convert, multiplying, dividing, and so on. I want this on my paper. Okay? Thank you.